you can only really be innovative when you when you do stuff that's that's crazy and, and you take risks and you you do things wrong. Um, if you, I really believe that if you're just if you're doing something you feel comfortable doing, if you're doing something that's safe that you are sure is going to work out perfectly, you're not really going to do anything very interesting. Jason is still the guy who manages that process. He is always pushing us to the edge. We are the most cynical people. Like we are the jaded crowd who, if a game doesn't entertain us in five minutes, we stop playing it. The standards set by everyone here that, I mean, good enough sucks. You can't do good enough. I don't think anybody in this world has ever done anything worthwhile without being their own worst critic. If you somehow believe that what you're doing is the greatest thing ever all the time, it's absolutely not going to be the greatest thing ever. We look around at each other and we say, well, how do we top what we did before? And even if we would say, wow, we're too tired to top what we did before, the pressure is there. And I think we put it on each other. If you make a good game, you make a great game. Yeah, all those other problems, those are kind of luxury problems, right? But you make a crappy game, everyone's going to forget about it, nobody's going to buy it, nobody's going to play it, nothing matters, right? And I don't want to spend a year, three years of my life making a game that nobody's going to play. No one's ever satisfied with, oh, this is okay. We always want to make it better. Everybody here wants to make cool games, do cool stuff. Not so much for everybody else that's out there, it's because we want to create cool shit. It feels great whenever the team feels good about something they make, not only the end product, but also the way in which it was made. And if we can keep that experience going, then we're gonna to continue to make great games. We can make really, really great games together because we have enough people who really care about the game to make it happen. If you don't care about what you're doing, if it's just about making money or if it's just about going to the office every day, it's just not gonna be what it would be if you loved it. And when you love something, you spend too much time doing it, you spend too much time thinking about it. Like it bleeds you in some way. But I think, I think that the truth is that has to happen if it's, if it's gonna blow people away, like if it's gonna be something that really matters. It hasn't mattered to us whether we were in Chicago working together, whether we suddenly were in a corporate land. We've kept that same attitude, which is we're going to make something that we're excited about. We're going to make something that we want to play, regardless of who's our publisher or what our situation is. Games are fun because they can reach you in ways that other forms of entertainment don't. Like games really are something that you participate in. And so there's an ability to make a player feel victorious. And I wanted to be part of building that. As a studio, our culture is to continually look back at what we did before and push ourselves harder um, and ship something greater than the thing that we shipped before. The secret sauce that makes Bungie games what they are, it's, it's in these walls um, and uh, it's absolutely going to be there for the future and the, the next games that we make. The goal for us right now is to create this body of work that's a platform for our future, somewhere we can go back to tell stories, somewhere we can go back to add new kinds of gameplay, somewhere we can add some crazy new engineering system to support some new console. It's our next playground. Like, it's the next place where we're gonna, where we're gonna tell our stories. I go home at night, I put my kids to bed, and I get back on and I work a little bit more. Not necessarily because I have to, no, not at all, but because I really enjoy doing this kind of thing. I mean, we get to make games and it is like being a kid. It's, 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 it's a privilege. This is the most ambitious project that I've ever, ever worked on with the most people and the longest amount of time still ahead of us, but it still scares the hell out of me. Like, that's, that's pretty different. Maybe I'm just a little bit older and so I know enough to be afraid. Halo 1 seems really easy in retrospect, I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody was asking me if I was excited about the next big thing that, that Bungie's working on, and I'm like, 
well, I don't really understand it yet, but I'm excited because I trust the guys who are excited about it because they've done it in the past. Talking to a publisher a couple months ago and they asked what I, like what I wanted. And I, I just want them to get out of our way and let us, let us make a game. Trust that we're gonna do something great, give us the money to pay for it, and then get out of our way.